Well, hello there, Internet. I've got a little teaser of my house, a little sneak preview of what my armor trims will look like in the future, and a big mug of time-space coffee to give me the energy to make this episode. So, stare into my eyes, eat your donuts, they go well with the coffee, and enjoy the episode. So, I had planned to simply do this between episodes and not explain anything, because I am a gremlin. However, clearing out the netherrack between bedrock is annoying. So, I hear you have TNT. Yes. Stack of TNT, stack of pistons. Thank you. Back to building we go. Oh, and I should also perhaps point... So, am I haunted by... The sound of jam pot with a jukebox. But we also have, in addition to the sounds of the geesening, my attempt at a pride skin, incorporating the colors of the progress pride flag. Now, I'm aware that this will not be Pride Month uh, when you actually watch this video. But it is approximately Pride Month now for me when I record this, and so I am wearing the colors. Ah, I see I'm not the only person who has ideas about sleeping in the nether. I have read the directions. In theory, if everything goes perfectly, this will work. And also... I am so doomed, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never done this before, and this requires precise timing. And as soon as I hit that lever, it, and as soon as that lever is hit, also, that appears to not be working correctly. So it's important to test out one's key bindings before. Ah, the trap door was supposed to work. Now, exactly where must I be targeting? So, as close as I can to that core. Uh, alas. So apparently, all I needed to do was scream. Offer. Oh, I thought that was the sign it had been done correctly. Ha ha! I have defeated the one block of netherrack that was in my way. But I, of course, feel that there is significantly more netherrack problems I need to face. And my beacon beam now extends! Now, I would like this to be actually clear, and since we are currently on a winning streak, let us continue. One could get used to this uh, power trip involving high explosives. Thank you, Plasma, for the generous donation of the TNT. It is going to great use for flexing on this netherrack. And not towards blowing myself up or anyone else. Yet. Hello, my lovely audience. Please ignore some of this being pink. I decided my uh, build needed extra blast shielding. Because uh, the one problem area is also the area that is most important to get right and I do not understand what I am doing and every time I try to do things and place blocks the pistons move it around so it's out of position 
So it is entirely possible that when I try to run this, the TNT duper will instead uh, exploitificate itself quite thoroughly. However, I have built an entire tree farm with hopefully a functional TNT duper. While I was waiting for my netherrack to smelt. Because you see this? You see how much nether bricks I have obtained? And this is not all of it. I also have filled up all of the chests that I had specifically for this in my house. With nether brick and red nether brick. And all of this is full. And I still have only three whole ancient debris, which is not even enough to make one item of netherite. Gaze upon my work, she mighty in despair, for making a tree farm was something I did incidentally while having problems with not having enough ancient debris. Something here just isn't right. Because these warped fungus should have grown. Ah, perhaps what isn't right is the distribution of bone meal in this device. This, I fear, will run out of bone meal quite monstrously quickly. But at least this is better than it was before. Though, of course, these items should be getting picked up, and are not. It is supposed to be a fence. It is a fence. Is there supposed to be a hopper minecart? Right. So that is not working. Drat. I have no idea by what means or measure I have fixed it. But uh, that just blew up, satisfyingly. Ah, redstone. The glorious superposition between it works and I have no idea why, and it does not work, and I still have no idea why. Now tell me, wandering trader that has arrived. That is an interesting collection of blocks, actually. It is a shame that I appear to lack the emeralds. Alas, in addition to not having any netherite or ancient debris scraps, I am also broke in terms of emeralds. The only currency I have is diamonds, and they are not good enough anymore. So, I have finally managed to obtain enough netherite scrap to make a single netherite ingot. <clears throat> Which means I have crafted myself a smithing table, and I will be adding to my house a smithy area. So now I have a tree farm that will hopefully prevent any future incidences of catching people out in reckless temporal shenanigans. After all, when I hurt other people on the server, I would like to do so deliberately. And I believe the appropriate place to set up my smithy is outdoors here. Ah, the joys of interior, or in this case exterior, decorating. Moving the same block and placing it 15 times. And I was thinking that I was going to put a chimney around this beacon. But you know what? I just like having the bright, uh, blinding beam of light down the middle of my base. It really adds to the aesthetic. I'm not certain what it's adding to the aesthetic besides blindness. There we go. Little uh, fire area around here. Because yes, you could just heat things in the ambient lava. But that wouldn't be anywhere near as fun. And now we properly butter our netherite. Well, if I have only one netherite ingot, I have the question of what one item do I upgrade? I think that my question is its answer. And now, a netherite polearm to give me better reach when asking people uh, some very pointed questions. Or, you know, asking this hoglin what it thinks it's doing in my base. 
Ah, so satisfying. So, now that I have gotten at least one item upgraded to netherite, let us uh, resolve some of the other things that need resolving around here. Like the fact that apparently the Doppelgangers Association does not even believe that I am Spring's evil doppelganger. <sighs> Which means I probably have to go wake up Spring and have her make an appearance. And if not, I suppose I can just do a public appearance uh, as Lady Autumn doing evil doppelganger things and maybe they will uh, do a public appearance without my glamour doing evil doppelganger things and maybe the doppelgangers association will be tricked into letting me in. And I was saying that I needed to do some more gremlin-y things around the server. And I have had that perfect perfect little piece of gremlinry sitting around for a very long time, asking to be used. Hopefully this is enough clear distance and I am not about to destroy my entire industrial district as a result of a uh, prank, but if I do destroy something, it will be my industrial district, so it's not like the other server members get to complain about rampant disregard for people's builds, because it is my own build I am rampantly disregarding. So, let's fill those sections up with lava, just so that it can look ominously threatening, and then I never actually drop lava on people, because I physically can't. I wonder how long it will take uh, my fellow Minecrafters to pick up on that. <laughs> so I will be down here digging out uh, wither fighting tunnels for a bit longer, before I actually- and gathering up uh, a collection of nouns to play with before I'm actually ready to begin my game. But I now have an arena to do it in. And of course, I may not need to do any of this I have a noun shenanigans as long as I can get uh, my springtime counterpart to wake up long enough to confirm that I am in fact the doppelganger. Which I acknowledge will involve her being Or if I can get my springtime counterpart to turn up, acknowledge I'm the doppelganger, and then leave again. I think there are a few steps in that process I have not thought through. But if I haven't thought through them yet, I don't intend to start now. <laughs> so, I did not think I would be returning to this world until the end of World Tour, as my projects are all finished here. But we have a spring to see if I can encourage to wake up just enough to stumble onto the Unorthoblock server for a whole five minutes so that she can be seen at the same time as myself and then immediately fall back asleep. I acknowledge there are some problems with this plan, but I do happen to have uh, a plentitude of available iron on the unortho- Oh right, she's been sleeping on Titancraft. I'll have more of a problem with the cold iron than she will. Um... I still have ways of encouraging Spring to go back to sleep if I need her to. And the Unorthoblock server has moved on enough at this point that you- Oh, you're a cute little guy. Okay, maybe I should have come back here. It, it seems that some of the allies do miss me. Still, I'm, I'm glad that even without me being here to supervise them, they have chosen to stay in this forest I have made for us. So, time to see if my counterpart can be awoken from her slumber just long enough to prove that I am in fact a doppelganger and not the original. Now, of course, she's not waiting on her throne. One, there was a disappearing act, and two, why would she when there is a bed just over here for her to be resting in? Oh. Oh. Spring, 
Wake up. Still sleeping. Spring, a new update has dropped. Five more months of winter. I'll wake up when I wake up. No sooner. <sighs> Spring. Oh. Go away, Autumn. Sleeping. Be gone. So, aside from reminding me that I need to finish acquiring proper netherite, it appears that uh, trying to wake up my springtime counterpart is a bust. Because, as we heard, she refuses to get out of bed. And yes, I could attack her and whatever, but... I also am not certain that I could actually get her to go back to sleep properly if I do manage to wake her up. And I would prefer not to have her on unorthodox blocks because this was the entire point of this whole scheme that I could have somewhere where I'm not standing in her shadow and having her constantly outdo me on everything. Though visiting Titancraft has also reminded me that this is simply not big enough. We can do better. We can go bigger. Anyway, so, I will be making some appearances without my glamour so that I can properly establish that I am a separate person, I swear, and I will make the Doppelgangers Association uh, regret not inviting me.